Stick around to see what fun and easy, lazy Sunday craft we have for you today on episode three. You won't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, it is Cheryl, the activity author here with a mystery lazy Sunday craft. So let's go ahead and get into it. Get those coffee filters, grab you some water, some food coloring, yellow and uh, red is what we use for this activity. And you're going to go ahead and start with the yellow food coloring. Drop about three to four drops in there and mix it up good. And you're supposed to use your dropper to drop the color like you see the picture in the top right onto the filter, but I misplaced mine. So I'm just gonna use my brush and drop the color on the filter. And I didn't really like the way the yellow turned out. So I added some red to make it an orange. And now I'm going to use that to saturate my filters. Now once you've filled your coffee filter with that orange color, um, go ahead and go back over it with red if you would like. This is just an optional thing that I did. But just go ahead and put three to four drops of red now by itself. Stir that up real good and then put the filters back in the box or whatever you're using, uh, pan. Uh, and then just drop some red on top and it'll give you a nice tie-dye effect. So I know you guys still haven't guessed what we're making yet, so that is good. But make sure you guys give this video a like and make sure you hit that subscribe button as well and hit that notification bell so that you guys can stay in tune and stick around and know every time that I post. Okay? Okay. Leave your filters to dry and while you're doing that, take your paper plate, have your child go ahead and paint it yellow. They can also paint it brown as well, but we wanted our character to be happy. So we're going to paint him yellow. our filters are dry and see look how cute those turned out do you guys know what we're making yet you still don't know all right well keep watching keep watching so go ahead and take those filters fold it in half like this and i'm just going to cut them in half that way i can use the filters to go all around the plate now grab your stapler because it's going to be an easy attachment here we're being lazy today guys right so you can bunch it up and put it all around the plate or you can basically leave it semi flat like this and then staple it to attach it. When you're done it should look something like this. No, we're not making a sun, and no, it's not a flower. Keep watching. get some sound effects okay anyway but how cute is this right y'all gonna make this today it took no time and it's super duper fun and easy well thanks so much guys for watching until the end and guess what i have two other mystery videos you can check out so if you love this one go ahead and check those out and don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell and i'll see you next sunday bye